Hey developers, today I'm gonna to show you guys how I use IIFE or IFE's immediately invoked function expressions. I'm gonna talk about what they are and why you should understand them. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. And if you're interested in Vue.js, if you're interested in learning more about me, I have some links in the description below with some of my favorite courses and also a link to my course on Nux.js, which you guys should check out. So I just want to do this quick video. Someone asked me about immediately invoked function expressions, and I wanted to show you what they look like. So I have a Copan open up here. And I thought I would just go ahead and start jumping in and uh, and start typing. So to start off, we can before we get too much into this ifies here, uh, we should probably take a look at what a normal function looks like. So a normal function uh, would look something like this, where we have a function. Now let's say hello, and then inside hello, we do something like I don't know. Uh, we'll just console log in this one. Wants a log hi. And you can see here, uh, nothing happens. But if I go ahead and invoke it with my hello, you can see in the console, you see hi. So this is essentially a basic function. Now, usually what is called a function expression is something where we do something like this, where we uh, have some variable, let's say, we'll use var for now, var um, hi, and then we have it equal this function, hello. And then we can, once again, just start high here. And you can see here at the bottom of the console, it went ahead and displayed high again. So yep, that's that's a function expression. So that's, that's pretty simple. We can also take away this hello here. Um, we don't really need it in that context. And once again, you can still see high. We can pass valuables to it. So I don't know, 10, and then we can just uh, well, excuse me, we'll put in a value here called, uh, let's see, um, number, let's call value. And then we can have value here. And then we'll pass in, I don't know, one, two, three. So you can see down there at the console, you see hi, one, two, three. So I'm passing in one, two, three. It's passing into the function and it's getting this console log, hi. So that's all really simple. So now if we look at an IIFE, or immediately invoked function, instead of invoking it ourselves, we can simply just invoke it this way. So if we add in these little parentheses here at the end of it, and I don't know, put 10, 10, you see here high at the bottom it says 10. So this is immediately invoked function expression. So we have this function here, this little parentheses with 10 is now is uh, taking this value inside here, this 10, and it's putting it right into this function where this value is. And it's immediately invoking it. So once again, it, you, doesn't, you don't have to uh, invoke it yourself. This is usually not how we see IFEs. If you see them in the wild, they usually look more like this. Um, there's many, there's a few ways of doing it. Usually you have a function, uh, an opening and closing something like this, where, oops, you have this opening and closing parentheses, and you then have uh, this opening and closing parentheses over here as well, and that will create the iffy. Uh, another way to do it is if we didn't have this opening and closing parentheses, you can actually just put a mark here at the beginning. So here, I'll clear, the, clear it if we put it, I don't know, 20. You can see here, it's still working as we expect it with 20 in our console down here. Let me resize this. Uh, you actually might even see it like, like this. You can actually put just like avoid there. <laughs> um, you can, I think you can even put in like a tilde as well. Let's see here, put 30 in here. Yep, so everything, it's still working. You don't do it this way. I think this is a little confusing. It won't work if you don't have anything at the beginning. So if you just do it like this, it's not going to work. It's not going to immediately invoke, and uh, it's not going to work. Now you're probably wondering, like, you know, why do 
let's go back to the classic with the opening closing parentheses at the beginning. Oops, there we go. So you're probably wondering why you would want something like this. Well, in a lot of older libraries, uh, they would have all their the whole library inside this this IIFE because basically everything inside this function inside this function is not in the global scope. So instead of polluting the global scope with a bunch of values, you're putting everything in the function. So let's say, for example, and we're going to stick with vars here. Um, by the way, between var, there's var, let, const, with with vars you have the scope is within inside the function itself or within inside the context. Uh, it doesn't, um, while let and const are are more inside uh, blocked and uh, inside the, the, the block of, of whatever it is. So we can talk about that in a little bit. But like, let's say if I put a var Thanos and he equals 10, uh, let's have him equal the value, why not? Uh, let's say I have him equal 20, just to keep things simple. And then I console log Thanos here. You can see at the bottom, now I see high 20. So I could put, I don't know, Thanos 20, which is good. But if I put something down here like console log Thanos, and I put in, I don't know, THS Thanos, you see it's not it's not being rendered in the console at all because this variable doesn't exist outside the console log, um, outside this function here, since this, everything is private. Now, if you created, I don't know, a function here, function with inside a function, you know, function Eric, and you wanted to take Thana, um, console log Thanos plus 10, call it addition, and then you call Eric from here, you could see here if I bring this up, addition says 30. So it's adding it in there, which right there. <laughs> uh, so the everything inside the function has access to any of the variables inside this function. So these are private variables. This function has access to it. It can do addition, multiplication, whatever it wants, and then you can invoke it. So that's one of the things you can do with IFC. So if we look at example, uh, for example, moment.js, which I'll bring over. So you can see this is moment.js, which is, if you don't know, it's like a date library. They have this function here. You can see it has a, a, open, a closing parentheses or opening parentheses. It takes in this global and factory. And then right down here, the function ends but it has this, so it's being passed, this is being passed into global, and then it has a whole function here. And if you go all the way to the bottom, it has some of these closed parentheses. So it's basically an I, it basically it's a immediately invoked function expression. So this is how they did it. Now you're probably thinking, wow, that's really interesting, but isn't there better ways of keeping your code private? And that's where modules come in place. That's where like require JS or ES6 modules, which really uh, enhance having like your code modularized that you don't have to do something like this to keep your code safe. Uh, that I can look in. I think that's a great topic. I think we should look at that in a different video because there is quite a, quite a bit with that. You can actually have modules loaded asynchronously. You can have no modules loaded at all. There's different ways of loading your module into your job, into your application that you can do. But I thought this was a good example because you may have, especially if you're just creating a, a basic HTML page and you want to add in some code, but you don't want to pollute the global code on uh, the global space, the global scope, you can definitely use this and it makes it really simple. I know also um, this could be good too. You can put this these IIF fees at the end of your uh, at, at the end of your HTML in these script blocks and just have it this run as soon as the page loads. That's another thing to do. 
Um, so this is probably something that we don't do as, as often, like I said, with ES6 modules and, and require and things like that. But it's still good to know. I wish uh, I want to let ask you guys what you think about it. Do you guys think it's still useful? I, do you use function expressions? Do you use named expressions? Uh, let me let me know. Let me know. Also, one other quick thought before I go. I talked to a little bit about var, and I did a whole video on this. But you see here, I have var here. But you're probably thinking, well, with ES6 ways, we'd use letter const, but in this instance, it's going to behave exactly the same. However, you know, let's say we had a for loop and we did var i equals zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus. And I'm not going to even do anything here. But if I, if I console log and just for the heck of it, I'm going to just all these console logs I'm going to comment out. But if I console log, you know, I, you could see here I equals 10. So like I said before, this var has scope for the whole function. That's the context it's in. However, if we change this to a let, now we have block scoping, and if I clear this, and I don't know, change this to 20, you see in the console nothing shows because this i is only seen inside this block here. Another way to show that would be, you know, if I declared another variable, let b equals 30, and then I try to print out b, you see once again, nothing showing up here in code pen. However, if this was a var, then it would show up because now this variable var is has scope to the whole function and not just scope to this uh, block because the let and cons have this block scoping, basically anything that starts these little squiggly brackets open and closing, that's the uh, scope it has. So that that's another little quick understanding of JavaScript that's important to understand. Uh, we This also, um, it's worth mentioning with IFEs uh, about closures. I think that's a bigger topic that I can talk about. I, I think I did a video on that a few years ago, but maybe I'll do another one. Just let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate it. Take care and uh, have a good one.